Rotation and translations of shapes. So we're going to just work through some basic work on rotation and translation. I've got a shape here with a center of rotation already drawn for us. Now I would strongly suggest when you're having to do rotation that you use some tracing paper. So get a piece of paper, place it over the top and trace the shape onto it and the center of rotation. And then if you keep the center in the right place and then spin the tracing paper around so that it goes, you, these are always 90 degrees, 180 degrees, or that would be 90 degrees clockwise, 90 degrees anti-clockwise, because I'm spinning it the opposite way, or 180 degrees doesn't matter whether it's clockwise or anti-clockwise. And once you have it in the right place, then retrace the shape that you need. So 180 degrees would be on the other side, but tracing paper makes this very easy, very straightforward. And you should be able to ask for a piece of tracing paper whenever you're doing a test, especially exam questions. Okay, now translation. <coughs> if we have a shape to translate, so let's just quickly draw a shape that we can translate. Let's have a triangle of some description. Let's have this triangle. Okay, let's um, just join that all together. Okay, so we've got a triangle. Let's make a copy of that. Okay, we've got another one exactly the same. So, translating a shape is all about moving it, sliding it sideways. So, if I take that triangle and move it one square to the right. That's a translation of one to the right. If I take that triangle and move it one square up, that's a translation of one up or one down or one to the left. Or we could have a combination so we could go one, two, three to the right and one, two up. That would be a translation of three across, three to the right and two up. Now Obviously, in mathematics, we need to be a bit more precise, so we tend to use things called vectors to describe a translation. And that vector is in two parts. We've got the we've got the across part, and we've got the up and down part. So if I'm going over to the right, that's a positive value. If I'm going to the left, that's a negative value. So if I moved it, if I had my top number was minus two, then I would have to move my shape two squares, one, let's get one, two to the left. And then if I had the vector underneath, the bottom, the up down part was far, uh, let's make it three, then that means it needs to move three squares up. One, two, three. So three squares up. So that would be a translation from A to B of minus 2, 3. And if it was some other translation, let's do another one. So we'll have another copy of that, a original shape. And this time we're going to do a different translation. Let's use translation 4 minus 4, no, minus 5 move it a lot. Okay, minus 4 minus 5. So the top one is how we move it across. So we need to move it across 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we need to move it minus 5, which is down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that would be, that was C, that would be the translation that maps A onto C. Now, when you're trying to figure out what the translation has been, it's very important that you think about one point on your shape when you're counting out where you're going. So if I'm going from A to C, then I would, and I didn't know it was 4 minus 5, I would think about one point on the same shape, on each shape, because it's the same. 
um, and I would count them out from that point. So one, two, three, four across, and then one, two, three, four, five down. So plus four, minus five. Always use the same point. Sometimes people just use the two closest points, so they go from here to here, and that would give you two minus three, and that would be totally wrong. And also for translations, you'll notice the shape doesn't change in the translation, neither does its orientation, it doesn't spin or it doesn't change, so they are exactly the same shape. And the technical word for that is congruent. And we need to be aware that when we're translating, we're only translating one congruent shape onto another, so they've got to be exactly the same.